up close and personal with our main man, Daniel Dawson. How you doing, triple, guys? Triple world champion. Only man to ever do it in Australia or uh, I West think the world, right? In the world. Yeah, yeah. Tie boxing, kickboxing, yeah. and boxing. Yeah. Three world titles. Yeah. Okay, mate, you've had a couple of tough fights lately. Yeah, 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 yeah definitely. Where are we going from here? Um, I've been looking at uh, boxing for myself over the last few years and really really got to a good level, you know, from, yeah. from Australia, like really to that sort of top top B level in America, right right there, you know, right, right on the doorstep of the top of the top guys, yeah. But I was finding guys that are in the A level but for me you'd have to beat them to be in that level, you know? so, so just that's my opinion. My opinion I was I got right on the doorstep of being with the top guys. I can keep this yeah, yeah, yeah. keep going at it, and I just feel like at this moment I've um, just got married and I'm start looking for children. Right. Thanks, mate. Thank you. And I'm start looking at having children, and uh, for me, I'm going to go a few more years in the sport, uh, combat sports, and I want to have uh, fun. Enjoy it. Yeah. Now I'm still going to take it very seriously. And go, well, I'm very competitive in everything I do. Yeah. Um, so I'm, I'm thinking of coming back to the kickboxing, maybe Muay Thai, maybe I'll stay more uh, glory, sort of kickboxing K1 sort of style fighting. Yeah, get to use my boxing skills as well as the kicks. And uh, I've still been working my kicks a little bit here and there, and always training clients in Muay Thai and kickboxing. So I haven't lost any abilities. Now it's just conditioning. So K1's your, where yeah. you think it would be fun. Yeah, yeah. And you'll be most suitable for it? Yeah, I think so, yeah, definitely, yeah. yeah. Also, well, Glory, I think it's about the biggest promotion of yeah. you know, like K1. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. All over the world. Yeah. I think uh, you get your conditioning right with the yeah. decent camp, you have to step straight back into the top, top, yeah. top level of yeah. K1 immediately. Immediately, yeah. yeah. Who's the champ of your way? Yeah. Um, there's a few guys. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. 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 No, it's not Rizzo. Not Rizzo. A bit heavier or heavier than Rizzo? Lada. Okay. Yeah, actually, I, I can't even tell you the name. Okay. Yeah. There's a couple of guys, uh, Andy Ritchie, Andy Sauer as well. Sauer, still going, mate? Yeah, yeah, a few of those guys are still actually going. So, I mean, I'm looking at uh, getting back into condition first. Yep. You know, I, I, I respect uh, kickboxing more entirely than kickboxing. And, and conditioning my body is, is the first step now okay. getting ready, yeah. So that could take two, three, four months to get ready to go. So have you, you put a time frame on when you think you'd like yeah, to fight? I'm hoping uh, October, November and here in Perth. Yeah. So we'll see what shows I can so sort of work you, out with the You're guys. looking for a promoter? Yeah, yeah. To put you on? Yeah, so I'm going to have a chat to the guys over the next few yeah. weeks. And, uh, see all the, the promotions? Shows. Yeah, all the promotions. And I'll see <laughs> the, who the, I can work with. Yeah. Yeah. That will do K1 rules. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Anybody you think of fighting? Yeah. Um, Anybody I'm you'd open, like I'm, to fight? I'm pretty much open to anyone, anyone in Australia that, that's, uh, for that's up for the fight. challenge. Yeah. Wow. And, and exactly like I said, I feel like I can step back in uh, and straight, straight, the straight to the top level. Yeah. 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 Not, not, not still young enough. Yeah, yeah definitely. Yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah. It's pretty exciting. Um, I've seen you in the corner lately. I'm not going excited, yet, mate. I'm not letting you go yet, mate. Yeah, yeah. You're really excited to get back. Well, I've seen you in the corner a few fights. Yeah, playing the main role as the main corner man. Yeah. Yeah. Saw you last night with Ollie's fantastic performance yeah. and what yeah. a performance that was. Yeah, like 43. Stressful as a coach. Yeah, stressful as a coach. <laughs> it's amazing to watch. Yeah, yeah. Um, bit of a rocky type fight. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. The role of a coach. Yeah. Something that's coming to you. You think? Yeah. You start yeah. That? Definitely. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, I've, I've coached a little bit here and there through my career, and, and just more and more as a helper. Yeah. 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 Just helping guys out. But um. I've always had that that, that uh, ability where I like to help other people with everything they're, 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 they're doing. I've always, I've always constructed in uh, boxing and kickboxing and Muay Thai. Um, but I can yeah, now see as, as if I give myself a few more years and I'm going to finish up, um, that's definitely the role I'm going to um, and, uh, and see what I can do for the state of WA here that gave me so much to see what I can give back. Yeah, yeah it's everyone. So we give back to the sports. Well, I, I think uh, everybody in. Perth will be excited yeah. to see you back in the, the tie boxing, kickboxing yeah. ring. Yeah. And that sounds like you can give the glory guys and all the yeah. top level guys at yeah. K1 yeah. a big shake yeah. with yeah. your extra experience now in your boxing. Yeah. So that just makes you an exciting time. Yeah, definitely. So, Very exciting. coaching, K1, new wife, yeah. thinking about the kids. <laughs> kids on the horizon. Yeah. You're going to be busy. Yeah, busy man. Yeah. Well, that's it. It's got to happen. I've, I've stayed young for a long time. So, yeah, I've been living the life, living the dream for a well, while. Well, I so. think everybody ought to be absolutely 
over the moon to see you come back yeah, 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 and that yeah. sort of thing. So yeah, yeah, yeah. congratulations, yeah, mate. Thanks no. for your time. No, it's great, it's great to see you. Great to see you. Yeah. Okay, fight ref Simo here, getting up close and personal with Lulu Bang Bang Horton. Yeah. How are you, Lulu? I'm good, thanks. Now, number three in the world at the WBC, is that right? Um, on the Weaver. The Weaver? Yeah, the women, I'm the sure women's. of the WBC. We're okay. To look it up, but well, she should be in the top ten. The Filipino girl last was. Uh, yeah, ref, you ref that one, didn't you? Yeah. So that was a big win? Yeah, it was Massive a big, win. Good fight for me, I think. Yeah. Um, getting cut open the first round. So yeah, yeah, that was a, I think it was a head clash, wasn't it? Yeah. Remember right? Yeah. Now, you're, up, you're right up there. Um, you teamed up with CDL, yes, is that right, for yeah. promotional body? Yep. Uh, where are they taking you? Um, where are we going? We're hoping to get a title fight, uh, a regional fight. Asia a regional, Pacific, an Asia Pacific this year. Weaver? Yeah, um, yeah. It could be Weaver or the WBO. Asia WBO? Pacific. Yeah, I'm hoping okay. it's WBO. Is it vacant? Is there a champ? Or? Um, I believe they're talking to someone at the moment about making it happen. Okay, you don't, so, know, you don't know where she's from? Um, she's from the UK. UK. So Denise Castle. She fought. Denise Castle. She fought the WBC champ last year. Yep. Um, she went eight rounds with her. So. Yeah. And she's the champ. Um, uh, I think it might be vacant. At okay. Stage. So a vacant title shot. Yeah. Eight rounder. Eight, eight rounds. Yep. Eight threes. Or eight twos. Eight twos. Yep. Okay. And that may happen. Yeah, I'm hoping it happens. Time frame. Maybe. August or November. Okay, it's yeah. coming up soon then. Yeah. Here at home, yes. that'll be exciting yeah. for, you, for your hometown fans. Yeah. Have you done much travelling fighting yet? Or been um, away to fight any of the girls? one yeah. fight over in Thailand okay. last September. Yeah, um, yeah it was a good experience, a bit different. Where, where are the, is there a, a certain uh, country in the world that dominates women's boxing? Um, I think the Japanese. The Japanese in, in your category. weight category. Yeah. Okay. So um, definitely a lot of Asian competitors. Yes, yeah, yeah. the stature. Yeah, but there's also what, quite what are you weighing? Yeah. Um, 46. 46. You fight, yeah. That's your cut-off flight weight. Yeah. 46. On, on what do they call that? Flight weight. Atom. Atom. Atom, atom. atom. Yeah. atom weight. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so splitting the atoms as you go. Then. That's Ball. it. <laughs> What's your favourite technique? Left hook, um, right hand, right uppercut, hand. right cross. Yeah, yeah right cross, but. Finding those little tidy uppercuts. Yeah, sweet. Yeah, it'll be fun. How many years is it fighting now? Um, two. Two years? Yeah, two years. Two years. You're a newcomer, sport. really. Yeah, you've only and really been in it. You were a skateboarder before, was it? Yeah, skateboarding when I was a bit younger. Yeah. And it was, did I hear a rumor that you were a world champion or something? Ah, uh, I skated on the uh, world. World circuit? World circuit, yeah. Wow. Yeah, I was probably ranked second in Australia. So. Okay. Yes, yeah, seventh in the world. Well, wow. any money in that? Uh, more money in the boxing game? Yeah, I think it's pretty similar. Because I'm a female in the sport. Okay, so. so a male dominated the, sport. Yeah. It's pretty tough, um, I think. I think we, should, we put in a lot of hard work. Well, it's of course, it's the same thing. Yeah. Isn't it? Yeah. Still getting hit. Still, still yeah. got to do the yards Sometimes the, gym. the women can put in a little bit harder because they've got to prove who they're worth. Prove they're worth. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, what, to dominate over the crowds to get the. To get the bums on the seats, you mean? Or um, yeah, I think so. Um, Set itself in every aspect of sport uh, for a woman in a male-dominated sport, okay. just to stand out a little bit. Um, the dollars behind it as well. Yeah, you know, just okay. a massive margin of difference so. between the men and the women. Yeah. Bloody so, hell! A lot of Who's heart in there. Favorite woman fighter? You got a an idol back back in the day, or? No, not, not really. Oh, yeah. um, favorite male fighters. Go on then. Triple G. Triple G? Yeah. Is that because he's uh, hot or is it because he's... No, I quite like his style. Um, the power. Just the power, but the... He just seems really composed when he's fighting. He doesn't... Yeah. yeah it seems really there. Okay. Yeah. And no females? Um, Do you know many female fighters? Not so many. I've okay. really... Yeah, I haven't really been in it for okay. that long. Alright. Well, I'll tell you, YouTube, Lucy Riker. Okay. From back in the day, Dutch girl boxing and Thai boxing. Check her out. Yeah, for sure. Thanks for your time, Thank Lulu. You. Best of luck, and I might see you in the centre sooner yeah, or later. Definitely. Thank yeah. you. Thanks.